Greetings, Disky fam, and welcome to another episode of the Sisonke Disky Chat. My name is Len Moleko, and this is a show where we talk about everything that has to do with Mzanti Disky. And of course, we do it with none other than Mzanti Legends. And like we always do, I'm rolling with some of the biggest names in South African football uh, before when they were playing. And now, even after they uh, stopped playing. Uh, they're still some of the biggest names in the country. And I'm going to introduce them to you. Um, to my far left, uh, Prajaris Kosai. Uh, welcome to the Sisanka Disky Chat. Thanks for having me, Len. Cool, 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 cool. And we have Siabong Nkosi, Brasil. Yeah, thanks for having me, bro. Cool. Guys, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, Ratava, no, it's, uh, it's the international break, ne? Uh, which is something that you guys, previously when you played, you had to deal with. As a player, how to go to Lapunyao, be it the Kosi or the Pirates, or the like national team, what sort of mentality do you have to overcome in order to, obviously, you are going to a different stage now. Uh, you're not playing like local football, you are playing international. Uh, what kind of mindset do you go in with when you go to that national team camp? Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I think. For myself, I was like privileged because um, before I could even go to the national team, already I had to venture into Africa with uh, with Bank Aces mm. to play the uh, uh, CAF Confederation Cup because we won the main state cup in 1993. So 94, uh, we had to venture into Africa. So I was I was used to African football, you know, before I could even join Pirates. Mm which was uh, 95. So when you go to that stage, for me, I was more familiar what to expect, you know. So it wasn't a difficult scenario. Yes, maybe different teammates in the national camp, but we knew each other because we used to compete against each other. So it wasn't a hassle because not many players we playing their trade overseas. We we're still all local, yeah. So it was just an easy fit, you know, just to get into the system. For when uh, Brazil, obviously, oh, you're working with one coach uh, when you're playing for your club, and you go play for the national team. It's another coach, different philosophies, different tactics, adjustment wise. Uh, how did that process happen for you, and mm -hmm. was it to your benefit or? You know, shaga confusion on some like ah, I'm a dar gala four 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 two, he baba dar gala four five one, like din tang shab shab. No, I think the mindset has to change. You know, it it does it play in your mind. It's okay now because when you when you get selected into the national team, you're regarded as the cream of the crop. Right? Yeah. So now you're going there, uh, play to play alongside the best players that the country has on offer at that particular moment. So you're one of them. So it plays in your mind. I think it, it creates also that kind of excitement and expectations, uh, high expectations, uh, looking forward to it just before you go to camp. Because uh, for instance, if I would, uh, uh, if, if Jerry's playing for Pirates and I'm, I'm coming from Chiefs and then I'm going to play alongside him, yeah. you know, and you respect certain players, uh, or actually good players, uh, top players from, uh, from 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 your country, so I think in the, in your mind that kind of expectation and that kind of uh, excitement is something that immediately triggers when you when when you go to camp. But obviously, you know, co coaches offer different perspectives, you know, and they use different philosophies. So uh, I think the adjustment is is, is 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 important because as a player, wherever you you're going to play, you have to try and. Um, Put yourself in a structure that is, is currently there. Like for instance, if, if a coach from maybe say Carlos Pereira he comes mm -hmm. and then he brings certain ideas. As a, as a player, you have to try and associate yourself with that so that you'll be able to be selected. You'll be you'll be able to be part of of the team. I think that's the first thing that you do as a player. It's, it's like moving from team to team, or you know having a different coach this season and maybe. He moves and then another one comes in. So you're always um, open to um, inserting yourself into into the structure and making sure that you, you absorb it and, and, and go along with it. So if Mauti get to the national team camp, uh, let's say the weekend before, in a little Abi, Aganea or Kosi, Vashaili Trinya, 
like <laughs> <laughs> when you get to that situation eh, uh you were opponents just this two two three days ago next thing we are go campaign there's no sort of like klesnya na ora and take ah utia ah le sha ile ga weekend in 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 fact then you know you it's like when you start that that question whatever that you want to get from us i start laughing because this scenario happens on on my side yeah. in Brian, yeah. Brian Maloy. so <laughs> I, I, I think it was january 1997 and they were like in camp to to play um uh, zambia yeah. in zambia so because our game was on the 7th of january at uh, december time i think on the 26th we were in camp for three days in cape town to prepare physically we came back only i think three days with the family first you know yeah first we had to fly back to cape town all the players to canada so for me and myself and brian you know it, we, we were like like roommates yeah. you know and people you know the media hyped yeah. it up you know because the following week Chiefs and Pirates were going to play the derby yeah. at Ellis Park. Yeah. And Brian was my roommate. We went to Zambia, we drew with Zambia. Brian was still my roommate. And when we came back, I had to score a goal against Brian <laughs> when he said I wasn't going to score. So it, it goes back to that. But I think it's all about professionalism. You know how to conduct yourself. And mm -hmm. when you've got your fellow colleagues, how do you mingle each other? You don't get into sensitive issues where I'm going to hurt a, a, a see uh, because maybe uh, I've scored yeah, against yeah. him or you know we 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 normally you know get soft to each other because we know what's important that made us to be together it's to save the country is to make sure we give our best because we were selected to be a, a amongst the best in South Africa so we 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 always mm. gave each other that respect yeah. exactly and there was a time when uh, uh, Lucas had to hang me from behind, mm. you know, and then Neil Tovey fell on top of me uh, by mistake. And then I meet the same people that train yeah. me, you know, I, I need to give them respect. It's not Pirates and Chiefs now. We all like a uh, national team, yeah. Bafana Bafana, we serve the country. So, so I think it was all about mutual uh, understanding and the respect that we all give to each other because yeah, if you're yeah. in that team mm. in that crop of players which means you are the best, the best yeah. you know it doesn't matter if you starting or not but just being there being selected to be in that 25 it means like you deserve oh. to be there and that's how uh, the national team goes on well i don't know nowadays because yeah, yeah. players select i want to come to yeah. You know, when I'm selected, I want to play a game. Yeah. If I'm not playing a game, I'm not going to come back. Mm. We never had those things. You know, we respected the national team and we wanted to serve. And you were saying earlier, Odbore, uh, when you played, you didn't have a lot of overseas-based teammates in the national team. Yeah, yeah. Mare, just looking at it, uh, and maybe Sia, you can help here. When those guys come in to the camp, uh, let's say you are playing locally, Gala Chiefs or Gala Pirates, mm. what, what sort of attitude energy do they bring that you take from them because i mean if you had a steven pinar playing for everton whoever we ever playing for whatever teams are overseas when they get into camp and you guys mix together are they sort of like takeaways that you that you go back to your club with that you help so that you can help your club obviously achieve whatever it is they set out to achieve for that season yeah i think you learn a lot if if, if you come uh, going to camp and then you meet those type of players uh, because I remember with me uh, it was way like way beyond his time yeah. and, you know, there was like Abo, Benny you know Abo Shawnee that were currently forming you know even at, at some point Abo Zuma you yeah. know and the, the, those are the, the, the players that were playing their trade overseas even Steven Pina yeah. as well Aaron Kwena you know a whole lot of them uh, that way playing in, in, in top leagues in Europe. So when you get there, you try and learn as much as possible, you know, on how they train, you know, how they behave, you know, how they kill themselves also as professionals because you are trying to get better as well, you know. You need to understand also <clears throat> that they are playing at a, at a level where maybe it's a, it's a little bit higher than where you are and you, you're trying to, you know, improve yourself as, a, as well as a player. But it's, it's something very interesting to look forward to 
because they exude confidence, you know. I was also uh, at, uh, at some point in, in Germany, yeah. you know. So when I came back for the national team, I think uh, I mean, the whole, you know, language, body language, you know, and, you know, the whole demeanor is different because you, or you, you, you're more confident, you know, you, you're also very competitive. And you also, as as a, as because I was looking at it, I'm looking at it from both sides. When I was still here, going into into the national team to to meet our guys the like guys Abobo, the, yeah. yes. And then when I was there now, and then there were guys like coming now from South Africa, yeah. ne, that were, were were actually meeting me. So now I have I carry the responsibility now to what to lead by example. Mm. Well, well. Uh, in, 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 at the start, I was I was I was on the other side of the fence where I was learning from uh, from what the, the the other guys were actually showing me and teaching me in in camp. Yeah. The thing maybe to add on that, there was a time when like uh, 1998 World Cup, and of course Benny was a hit then, and locally I was the top striker, and when we went to the camp, you couldn't believe as old as I am to Benny. I gave him such respect where if we do the, 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 the training sessions as strikers, I would sit back and watch the young boy do it and I would follow suit. So that's the respect that you give to the guys that have achieved something that you still want to learn from, you know, yeah. but it's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's good because it, it doesn't also go with age, mm -hmm. but with the mentality, how do you approach, yes. how do I respect C as old yeah. as I am, because I would be getting something from him. Yes. It's and not that problem, maybe yeah. I'm old, C I must listen to me every time I say yeah. this, he needs to know we, we, we had that uh, understanding because that was 1998 when a whole lot of players then they were like playing their trades in uh, uh, like uh, overseas yeah. because you talk about it Lucas now. To get into the national team it was always top difficult players, yeah. you know. And if we 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 had a, like a, a coach from France that was used to the players that were playing their trade overseas, and mm. locally those that made it to that team of 22 players to get registered. It was myself and Doctor, and we were the only two local mm. players out of the 20 22 men team that got registered. So that also goes with respect. How do you conduct yourself when you are in, 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 in that fold of, of, of the national team? You know, there, there, there's something very interesting that I, I have noticed. Uh, you get, obviously the season starts, uh, cup competitions and the league starts as well. Mare, just as momentum is starting to pick up, then international break hits and for two weeks, ne? Does that have a positive spin to it for certain teams? Like, I'll make an example. Uh, let's look at Orlando Pirates at the moment. Uh, they, 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 they're playing well. Uh, the confidence is there. Suddenly, when you are about to pick up speed, there's a break. How does that play on you as a player, uh, mentally? Uh, to me, I would always use the, the word conduct. How do you conduct yourself, mm -hmm. you know? Because, yes, going to a higher stage of the national team from your club, from club level, obviously there are like a, a, a positive elements that you're going to go and get from that. And how do you take them for the advantage of what you've left behind in terms of that momentum that you, you had to stop at club level? So it becomes better if maybe uh, 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 your colleagues, you know, when we come back, even those that were not in the national team, for instance, now you've got uh, Hoto in, 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 in the Pirates and up, uh, team, you know, you've got uh, Tsutsuga Manja, mm. and then you've got uh, uh, Epule, and then you still have Satuayo. Satuayo. And Ophori, I think, is also. Ophori as well. And all of these people, they go to their national teams. Mm -hmm. And when they come back, they need to know what is it that they left behind? What is it that they can pick up from where they left off to continue with the trend of the club level? Because national team and club level, the mentality is totally, totally different. The approach is totally different. So you need to adjust as a player. But the responsibility, who does it lie on? Is it the guys who are at national team level coming back and saying, guys, we were doing well. We shouldn't stop where we stopped. Mm. Let's continue with this momentum. Or is it the guys that stayed behind and they're like, yeah, you guys were gone. We were 
doing work here. This is what we did. So catch up with what we did so that we can keep moving. It's tricky, you know, um, but when, when, when you get selected into the national team and you go on camp, you, know, you are immediately uh, categorized as a leader in the, in the team. So, uh, I mean, leadership comes with the responsibility of making sure that the results come in for, for the team, you know. You have to make a plan, you know. You have to, you know, uh, play that leading role in the, in the field of play. And also, uh, I think it's more difficult going into the national team and being able to understand and, and absorb and, 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 and be part of whatever that the, the current coach in the, or whatever coach at that time is, is trying to do than it is at the club club because they, you have a lengthy uh, sort of uh, allowance when, when, you, when you're when you at club level. You can work through tactics, you can, you, the coach can drum it into your heads, you can understand it. So you just, you just uh, uh, reset back. You know, it's easy to reset back when you come back um, from, from, from the national team, but it's more tricky when you, like every week, you know, it's, it's certain ideas, principles being inserted. Let's say, for instance, uh, uh, Stuart Baxter wanted you to move the ball from this side and, and look at an angle on the other side so that we can move away from a, a pressure zone. Mm. A different coach can, 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 can give you something else. You know, he can, he can say maybe, no, we have to, you know, do this. We have to go uh, direct. Like we have to be patient with the ball, you know, and, and until we're safe and then we can move out. So when you go into the national team, Imagine being uh, told, you know, certain principles over and over again. And now when you get to the national team, what happens? Now all of a sudden, how are you, how, how, how quick are you going to be able to adjust or absorb, even if you are a top player, you know? I think it, it becomes a bit tricky when it comes to that. I, I, I think it goes with the intelligence because if you get selected to be in the national team, which means you are a good player. Mm. So good players <laughs> come with good mentality and good mentality brings better results. So I think in that element that CIA is touching it, it's more of you trying to adjust to every certain element of as a certain as coach as soon as possible. Mm. Because you're talking about transition. You know, if they say we move from here to there, you need to know yeah. how to do that. You know, you need to, to be quicker. You still don't have to look on the side and say, yeah, exactly. what is the movement? You need to know. You need to, to yeah. put yourself into the, in, in, into the fold. Okay, so I think that's where it, 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 it goes like the, the conduct. Mm. You know, if you're willing to do that, you're willing to learn. But how quick do how you quick learn? Because he has a problem in Kulune. football. Ne? Uh, a, a player's be, a behavior in the, in, the, in the field of play is, is centered around habits, yep. you know. It could be good habits, it could be bad habits. Like, for instance, uh, if quick reaction when you lose the ball, yeah. it's a habit. Yeah. If you don't, if it's, if it's not a habit for you, you'll be poor at that, mm. you know. And kicking the ball forward or playing short or whatever, you know, uh, it, it's a habit, you know. Turning the left or right, you know, yeah. or th those are habits and decisions when you, when you have the ball, which you now, which you are there's players who would cross it immediately, but there's others are so fun and if he, his habits are different, so it's a, I think, he, 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 he tricky because, mainly because of my habits. Because what you do over and over again as a player becomes a habit. That's why coaches, good coaches will tell you that I'm trying to instill good habits mm. into, into your system. That's how I'm going to make you um, a, a better player. So when it comes to uh, on, this, on this notion of a national team, uh, you obviously go on to the break. We spoke about the break uh, maybe breaking momentum or finding a way to continue the momentum. Um, on the flip side of it, uh, we look at a team that's struggling. Does an international break, two weeks plus, does it give them time to sort of like sit down and be like, Ish. and like a, for the first month, or floppy. I see there, I'm a cool squad. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe even now, that's a good one for Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to say that, but that's true. Maybe 
it's, it's going to give uh, Kevin Hunt some time exactly. to work yeah. with those that are left behind mm. who didn't go to the national team, you know, to do a lot of things because now he comes in and there are like games that are like coming mm. thick and fast, you know, and it's so difficult as a coach, a, a, especially a new coach, to get used to the players and the players getting mm. to, 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 to know how do you want them to function. So sometimes game situation puts more pressure mm. on players. Remember, you're talking about chips, not just any team chips, mm. where results instant they are needed. So I think now let's hope there would be a change in terms of the, the, the approach, you know, from this international break. Because you, you did not, not too many players are in the national team, right? It's Kune, yeah. Manyama. Come on. Kama for yeah. Zimbabwe, yes. Okay, well, oh, right, yeah. Well, okay, okay yeah. a few, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Let's hope there will be a change. <laughs> do you think this break, obviously yeah. it's needed, mm. but how do they well utilize it so that have a jiga, like, Linto Tabona Riyaji? You know what, that, that has always been a tricky subject for me because it, it either works positively or negatively for you. Mm. Yeah. But it, what it gives you, it can only give you time, you know, and it depends where you are. Like, for instance, <coughs> a coach who's been at, um, at a club over a year or two, né? then there's proper understanding when it comes to his methods within the squad. Yeah. So for him, it will, all, it, will, it will be about just making sure that everyone stays, uh, uh, he keeps everyone in, in, in proper shape né? <coughs> for the next game. <coughs> but like uh, Joe was saying, for, the, for a coach like Gavin Hunt, He's new, he hasn't been at Chiefs for that long. So he still needs work, né? where he still needs to get the understanding first of what he has as a squad. Because remember, had he been a Pirates, it would have been a, a, a bit better because he's about what, eight players. Eight players yeah. from the uh, uh, first from that he has worked with. Yes. Yes. But yes. now at Chiefs, he, has to, he gets introduced now to, he has to understand maybe a uh, Uposambo. Yeah. He has to understand um, who, who's at all. <laughs> oh, Kasan. Oh, Uposambo. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He, he has to come in now. He, he could have seen the, play, the players from a distance. Né? Because it's different when, you, when you're when a coach and you see someone from a distance. Like a player. When you see someone from a distance, but then when you move into a, 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 a same team, yeah. then you get to understand that person, you know. Yeah. And it might change your opinion mm -hmm. about how you feel you know, as, a, as a player. So with coaches also, it, it happens like that. He still has to understand the players first. He hasn't been able to do that. And he still needs to instill his methods. He still needs to decide how he wants to do things at Chiefs. Because right now, you know, I was watching them in the, in the few games that they've played. I haven't seen Ume Fugo um, um cool when it comes to how they played last season to how they're playing today. You know? Is he going to change the style of play? That's the question. And if he's, he decides to do that, how do we know him? Do we know him as a coach who likes the opposite of what they were doing last season or he's pretty much the same? You know, Those are the questions that we'll, he still needs to answer to, to, to us as, as people about, about, about observer. Which, what are you going to do? Do you keep the team, like the team uh, I was saying off air, which, the team that was, um, uh, that, that's there now. They have no player left. But Benzin, Papuma number two last season. Mm. What, what, it's tricky now when you, when he has to come in and decide. Do I change? Yeah, it's then, difficult. Or do I keep what <clears throat> what was working mm. last season? Are people gonna be happy? Because I need to complain about now. She's not playing a, a, a good brand of football. But right now, they're not getting the results, and also. There's a question, are they really playing well? You know? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a difficult one because if you look at on the other side, the, the freedom of signing players, you yeah. know, players that came to Orlando Pirates, you know, and mm -hmm. of course, you know, you, you, you're talking about quality players, Tsugamanja, Hoto, Sachuayo, Monare, you know, you, and, and it's, Ofori. It's, Ofori, but you've, I've mentioned four of those players. And those players, all of them, we knew them through Kevin Hunt's uh, Kevin Hunt uh, mm -hmm. uh, approach. You know, when you talk about Kevin Hunt, they will give you the pulley, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. as well in that team because that was the element of Kevin Hunt to change pulley from who he was 
to be a player that he is today and the benefits now are going to a, a, a Jay-Z, mm -hmm. you know, Joseph Zimbabwe. But I, I feel sorry for, 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 for Kevin because as Sia is saying, do you change what was working last season? Because he is the go to number two mm -hmm. with the aerial a, a, a display of football mm -hmm. which everybody was not happy but it was working yeah. and he comes in without the the freedom of signing players to play his own game what does he do mm -hmm. because that's the most important question now what does he do because those players that were there last season they are still there yeah this uh, uh, this season and how do you work with them you're trying to change their mentality Jerry Kosana was telling the players they need to go inside the box and start hitting the opposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sia comes in with the same players. Mm -hmm. No, 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 we can't get mm -hmm. that Jerry's, that yeah, Jerry's yeah. football. You need to do this. And only to find that maybe that football suited these players that are currently there, yeah, what the yeah. previous coach was, 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 was doing with them. And now for him to change, it's going to be a mountain to climb because now also the mentality mm -hmm. of the players with all the pressure that goes with it in a, in, in a, in a team like Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be that easy for the players just to get it right and change with all the pressures that goes with the club. I think, for gentlemen, before we get out of here, is it better to win playing, let's call it playing ugly, or is it better to win playing beautiful football? <laughs> that has that always been you know, an argument. Uh, but uh, to answer, in short, ne, depends where you are. Ne. Okay. You can you can do that at certain teams and get away with it, and then it's fine. But unfortunately, in teams like Chiefs and Pirates, there are certain standards ne, that uh, you 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 have to keep up to ne, because of the history, the yeah. whole. Yeah. 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 So now now we they will not accept it because it's a very tricky. Um, uh, but uh, it's too democratic. Mm. Yeah. Everyone has an opinion, and it's 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 very. I'm a friend of corner, very tricky, yeah. and they have certain standards. Because it's you know, difficult because at pirates we would also fight amongst ourselves as players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if I make a run, I know I'm in a, po a position where I'm supposed to get the pass. You don't give a pass, then you need to explain to me. Mm -hmm. If you are John Wendy or Innocent Mwamo or Dumisani Ngobe, I make a run that you know it's what we're doing at training and you don't give that pass. You need to explain to me. If mm -hmm. I play the ball to Hellman, he's on the right or, or Brendan, and then I run inside the box, I'm expecting something. Mm -hmm. So it goes with the understanding again. You know, what do you want in that team? And mm -hmm. from the outside, when you start driving your car or walking in the mall with your family, mm. you meet these people. They wouldn't tell you you played well when you lost 1-0. They, they will never tell you that. Yeah. They rather say, no, well done, well done. Even though we didn't play well, but yeah, at least we won 1-0. So which one do you take? Yeah. Ah, That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for joining us right here on Sison Kediski Chat. Hoping uh, we'll be seeing you again sometime soon in the future <laughs> and uh yeah uh like i said thank you very much to jeris kosana and siabong Kosi for joining us on episode two of sisonke deski chat we will be seeing you again very soon and don't forget follow at avodacom soccer on twitter for all the latest news and competitions where you can win lots of cool prizes and uh yeah we'll see you on the flip side and remember sisonke